I'm an artist, not a mechanic, but somehow this project still involves a crankshaft. I'm Jane Sawyer, and this is Jane Sawyer Makes a Walking Bigfoot. And you can make one too. Today, I'm gonna walk you through how I made this surprisingly simple, rewarding, and super freaking delightful walking Bigfoot automaton. He's made out of just some basic crafting supplies and some wire easily found at the hardware store. The one tricky thing that you might need to find is these split back fasteners. You can find them online or in the scrapbooking section of your local craft store. If you want to build along with me, of course, there is a free template for this project. More details on that later. Before we get started, I want to mention two artists that inspired this project. The first is Rob Ives. This Post of Rob's on Pinterest helped me figure out how to suspend Bigfoot's body over the crankshaft. Rob has a really wonderful website and informative YouTube channel all about making these simple automata. I'll link Rob's website and YouTube in the description. The second artist I wanna mention is Hannah Batzel. Hannah is the lord of paper craft and paper dolls. Hannah has a very detailed, very elevated paper doll tutorial pinned on TikTok. That is must watch viewing if you wanna make something like this. I will link Hannah's website and TikTok account in the description as well. Okay, let's get started. Let's travel back in time to yesterday when this project started out as a toilet paper roll and a bunch of ugly blobs of paper. To start, I made this quick and ugly mock-up off camera to rough out the sizes of everything. So I've taken my prototype guy and I've drawn out the pieces in sort of a good version over here on my sketchbook. I'm gonna paint these in gouache, but um, I'm not feeling very well today. And it is like kind of cold and damp down here. So I'm gonna take my paints and go upstairs and paint where it's a little bit more comfy. With the paint dry, I can now use a sharp craft knife to carefully cut out all my little pieces. Okay, we're back down in the shop now. Let's make Biggie walk. The base of his structure is a toilet paper roll and I've just pre-cut this piece of green cardstock with two uprights to cover the roll. We'll glue on the cardstock and set it aside to dry for now. Next, I need to add some thickness to Bigfoot's body. I'm cutting a rough eggplant shape out of foam board. You could use corrugated cardboard here too. We'll glue that onto the back of Biggie's torso here, making sure to line up the base of the foam or cardboard with the bottom of Biggie's torso. So we're almost ready to use our fasteners here. We've just gotta pre-poke some holes into the paper. I'm setting my pieces onto a scrap of foam and poking into my dots with a push pin. Then I'm gently making each hole big enough for my fasteners by expanding them with a toothpick. We need to fit the larger fastener into Bigfoot's torso, so I just keep expanding that hole until the larger split back fastener fits in. You'll have to do this in the topmost hole of both of his legs too. Now we can put Bigfoot's legs together. Place the shin on top of the foot and insert a fastener. Then 
we put the thigh piece on top of the shin and insert another fastener. Assemble the second leg in the same manner. Now you can grab the larger fastener and put on the front leg, the torso, and then the back leg. out of 20 gauge galvanized wire. I just get this from the local hardware store. I use the same wire to make this loopy hook thingy. This is used to suspend Bigfoot's body. The top of this suspension hook should sit about four centimeters up from the base of Biggie's torso. I stuck it on with a blob of hot glue covered with a scrap of paper. Now we can thread Bigfoot's toe holes onto the steps of the crankshaft. Gently thread the front toe hole into the end of the crankshaft and slide it down to the step closest to the crank handle. Then thread on the background leg as shown. Remember that toilet paper roll I covered in green paper earlier? I'm going to cut away the exposed cardboard and poke two holes in the uprights using my push pin and foam board method. Thread the crankshaft into the uprights. Thread the long crank handle in first, then gently put the end into the other upright without bending your wire. You can bend the short end and trim to lock it in place. Now we can put our suspension hook wire thingy onto the base to hold Biggie's body up over his moving feet. This little loop I'm bending is optional, it just helps the glue grip a little better. Again, I'm hot gluing that in place with a scrap bit of paper. When the glue is cooled, you can adjust the pieces and fiddle with the wire to get the smoothest motion. And that's it, now we've got a walking Bigfoot. If you want to make your own, you can download the template for free at janesawyermakes.com or for cheap at my Patreon digital store. You don't have to be a Patreon member to buy it. And if you take it for free or buy it for cheap, the choice is yours. At the end of the day, I really just hope you give it a go. Give this video a like if you think I've earned it. Subscribe if you wanna see more kick-ass art and craft projects from me I'm posting here as often as I can. Follow me on the socials and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>